So in the past six months, there's been more uncertainty in my mind than in the past six years. You know, we were faced with the coronavirus shutdown. They shut us down for almost three months. We had to completely change our business model, deal with losses. In the middle of that, we were basically forced out of our building. We also opened up Delray. We then made a move into another building, consuming another business. Lots of uncertainty. But I was never really like, I was never really scared of any of it. I just knew that this is a place that we're going and we're gonna handle it one, one day at a time, one action at a time, one goal at a time. Uh, you put the plan down and you, and you execute. So, you know, I, I slept fine. You know, there was, it's a lot of work, but I was never really scared. I always know it's gonna work out. I'm not too worried about it. We're healthy, everything's fine. You know what, like, yeah, it's hard, again, like, but I'm not, I'm not worried about it, it's gonna be okay. You know? There were times that were scary, but still, like, all right. And, and, I was, and then in the past six years, you know, we've had plenty of personal injuries, problems. I, you know, I, I grew up with kids that are riding dirt bikes, and racing motocross, racing oh. motorcycles, hit, hit a wall at 180, falling off a, more, a dirt bike on a 100 foot jump. Seen lots of things like that and still you're like, all right, it's in front of me, we can handle this, we can control it, everything's good, it wasn't really under my watch, you know? But like I, I, I felt a new feeling last week. It's last Tuesday, we had a performance workout, it was about 8.30 at night. It was about 10 people that were doing the performance at that time. It, 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 the, the workout had some running, the workout had some rowing. Um, I was in here with a few others doing some strength work. They were outside, we were inside. You know, the day was over. We're ending the day, we, we, we knew how to, the way we knew how to. You know, we all got our habits. You know, we stuck to our habits. Didn't matter if it was during shutdown or now. We, we, we get up, we basically sleep the same, we eat the same, we work the same, we work out, we, we have our people, we, we do our things, you know? We, we kept on, we kept on doing it. This day was ending no different than the other. With, with, this, with the right foot forward. And so these people went to work out and uh, it's a it was a long workout. And in somewhere in the middle of it, one of the, one of the girls didn't come back. No one really thought, I, I was in here working, I was in here lifting. And then on the next, the next round that they had to do, they went out and then they came back and they said, Jess got hit by a car. I said, what? What are you talking about? Yeah, Jess got hit by a car. It doesn't, it doesn't look good. I said, okay, let me go, let me go, well, let, let's go look right now, let's go. So like five of us ran over there and we got to the street and it's kind of the main, I mean, it's not a main road, it's just kind of a, a it's a road not far from here that goes north to south. And there was a fire truck blocking the street, already had generator lights on. There was five cop cars. There was camera stations set up. There was a car that was kind of, side, not sideways, but pulled in in a, in a, in a spot that shouldn't be pulled in. And we went up to the car. The car had the front headlight pushed in. The fucking the, the steel fender was rolled in. The windshield was 
punched it, like, fucking broken inwards. The mirror was off. And I'm being told that this car hit Jess and Jess was the one that did that. And this feeling, she was already gone. She had already been picked up by EMTs. The feeling that I felt is something that I've never felt before. And like I said, I've seen a lot. I've had friends die. I've, I've, I've heard of bad hospital visits. I've seen bad hospital visits. I've myself been injured. I've seen lots of things. But I never felt that kind of way before. And then, you know, with the time that ensued after that, I was just trying to figure out, like, there's, you know, again, there's uncertainty, but a different level of uncertainty because, like, this is one of our own. Like, what the fuck do we need to do? Like, what can we do right now? Because we need to fix this. We don't know what happened. All I, was here, all I did here was that Jess is fucking badass for how she handled herself. This is coming from the police officers. He said, yo, this chick's a badass. This is how she handled herself and whatever she did to get herself to be coherent enough to get to the hospital in the, in the ambulance. And uh, what she did there was kind of next level, I guess, you know, so what I'm hearing from the grapevine. And we had some people that actually were able to get in contact with her. And all I'm being told, she's got a, this is what I'm, I'm told, her arm is in bad shape. Her hip is fucking broken. The car looks awful. This was not just some touch and go shit here. And so I'm just like running, what do we need to do? We need to do something right now. You know, and this is all in the middle of all this other horse shit going on that, you know, I was like, yeah. Well, <laughs> all this other horse shit in the world that we look out and we see, and I don't know how she's feeling. You know, like that's all my concern was with everything going on. And I couldn't answer that question. So, I, well, the only thing I didn't know how to do was collect myself to know that we're going to come together to give her whatever she needs. And that's what we're going to do. You know, not that we're not worried. I'm worried about my own. You know, I'm going to take care of my own. She's one of us. She's been a member for over two years. She supported us in any way that she could. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna run a fundraiser workout. We're gonna, we have a GoFundMe set up right now that we're gonna run as long as it takes. This Saturday coming up, we, it's only fitting that we're gonna name this workout after her and it's gonna stay the name because we ain't never forget this. Um, I don't know when it was, but when she came to us, she had a nickname. I don't know exactly how long ago, but her nickname is Sharky. Jessica Gordon is her name. She served in Afghanistan. And then when she came back from that, I think it was when she came back from that, she was bit by a shark in the ocean. So you've got two, you've got two fucking things going on now. Okay, so the workout name is Sharky. The workout that she was completing, that will be the workout that we're going to be doing is two rounds for time. One mile run, followed by a one mile row, followed by 60 kettlebell swings up to the eye level. That's her workout. That's the workout we're going to be performing. We're going to run a fundraiser in-house. We're going to run a fundraiser all week, put some stuff together. We don't know how long. She's already had four, three surgeries, two, three, five surgeries. Her arm, big time work, her hip is broken. Um, yeah, I just really wanted to come on here to just say that like everything going on in the world doesn't come close to, to doing whatever is needed to take care of your own, you know, and that's, that's all we really know how to do. Felt some things I never felt before. But I did know that the first thing and the only thing that I know is that we can just come together. Forget about all the drama bullshit you got going on. Do what you can, help any way you can. 
We don't know how long she's going to be able to work for. She's a nurse locally in Boca. You know, she's been dealing with some times herself over the past six months, more than any of us. So forget all of your dramas that you've got going on and what's come together to, to do something good for someone that's, that's been one of us for a long time now. That's what this is all about, being able to come together. I'll see you guys in the next week.